Thank you. I think thank you. I'd like to thank my colleague for yielding, and uh, I also want to thank my sister uh, Crystal and my other sister April for being with me here today. Mr. Speaker, last night we heard President Biden's fairy tale version of the State of Our Union. But I'll tell you, Americans know he just doesn't line up with what they're seeing and, f and feeling out there. They know our economy is in shambles. And they also know that the only thing higher than food and energy prices out there right now are Chinese spy balloons. Our border is in a mess, and the whole time our government's over trying to secure Ukraine's border. The bottom line is that our country is suffering under the weight of the Biden administration's America last policies. And unfortunately, last night, yeah, he's doubling down. He's doubling down on a failed agenda that brought us here. And the only answers that he offers are bigger government, and more control over our lives. You know, I, I wish I could say I was surprised, but these are always the solutions offered by the other side of the aisle, the same ones that got us in this mess. So let's set the record straight. Mr. Speaker, reopening the economy after his party shut it down, that's not creating jobs. More taxes and regulations on small businesses will not promote growth. Bringing business back to America from overseas just to tax and regulate them will not return jobs to our shores. And more spending and debt, that definitely will not lower inflation. And telling Americans to kick back, put your feet up, depend on the government, wait on a check, and hope for a better life doesn't empower them to reach their potential. Because as we know, no successful person built a career are provided for their family by hanging around and waiting for the government to redistribute other people's income. It's time to let Americans run with the ball by letting them keep more of their hard-earned money, getting government off their backs, paying down our national debt, and promoting self-reliance and personal responsibility again in this country. Thank you, and I yield back.